What is this bit of hair doing? Ah, so it's another day. Another day closer towards exams. But then again, it is another day closer to finishing exams. So that is a better way to think about it. Hello, hello. Oh, bins. Hey guys, so I haven't picked up the camera in a while, in a few days, because, well, the last day I filmed was the day that I moved back to uni and I haven't filmed since. I've had mock exams and I've kind of been feeling a bit stressed and a bit down, not really myself. I don't know why, I think it's just because I've come back and we're basically now racing towards exams and I say racing because my exams are earlier this year and I didn't realise they were as early as they are going to be. This pear is mushy and I don't like mushy pears. Anyway, to the point of this video, I'm going to bring you along because obviously it is Saturday so I still have lectures and stuff like that. We still have lectures and labs until about a week before our exams. That is the Natsuki life, unfortunately. And because we're Natsuki's as well, we have Saturday lectures. Standard. Where's the weekend? What is a weekend? So I have this morning um, a lecture, then I have an hour break, so I'll probably go to the library. And then I have a two hour lecture after that. But this morning, I've just been working at my desk. I've just packed my bag now because I'm gonna go out. I'm taking a whole pack of grapes with me. I'm gonna probably snack on those during the two hour lecture. Not gonna lie. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I've been feeling kind of stressed and stuff. I wanted to talk about why I'm kind of stressed, address why I think I've been feeling like this. I maybe just talk about the ways in which I'm trying to deal with stress this exam season so it might be able to help you guys and stuff. Welcome to this video, I hope you enjoy it. Please like it if you did. While you're sitting there and watching me eat a pear, hit that thumbs up button and yeah, let's go to my lecture. What's the time? I have 15 minutes till I need to be at my lecture. I cannot stop eating these grapes. I need to put them away, otherwise I'm gonna have no grapes left for my lecture. It's like cinema snacks, I'm not gonna have any left. So I actually did the sensible thing and put on a rain mac today. I was not actually going to bring my rain mac to uni because when I was packing it was boiling hot at home so it just completely biased everything that I packed. Although I did still bring so much stuff and I don't know why. Also because I've been doing a lot of cycling when I was back home on my like road bike which is so much bigger and a so much better size for me height wise when I come back to this bike here. Hello lovely bike. It's just so small for me and I didn't realise how small it was. It's literally for a 12 year old, I say this every time. Holly needs a new bike. Anyone want to sponsor a video for a new bike? At the end of last term I was given one of these free things to put over your bike when it rains. It's from Bill's, I've never been to Bill's restaurants. But hey, I was given it for free, I came out of a lab and it was just on my bike. Look at that. That is so ingenious, I'm now not going to have a wet bum when I come out of a lecture and have to cycle back. That is so good. I've always wanted one of those.
it broke my scrunchie ages ago now like a couple of weeks back or something it was in one of my videos it was in my strip down challenge actually and today because i went to sainsbury's i was like i'm gonna get a scrunchie so i just love scrunchies and oh or maybe i should have my hair down even though it looks like a total mess you guys know in my previous video i came back to uni and i am back at uni now and i had mock exams i only had two and i had them on the same day so i came back and obviously i get pretty homesick so moving back to uni wasn't the best experience there were tears and also it kind of made the problem worse because i know that it's exam term and i know what exam term is like then when i got here i just i was doing revision obviously because i had my mocks i had about i had two full days of just like revision for those exams on the monday and i just felt as if i didn't know enough you know you always have those panics and i was trying to cram a lot of stuff i said to you guys that i might try and film what i do before an exam and in the morning and i just couldn't i was like no i just can't pick up a camera right now i feel so like stressed i don't know why but i've never really felt that way before i've never felt so apparently stressed in myself and I knew that I was stressed because usually I internalize everything and I've done that a lot in the past. If I'm worried about something or if I'm stressed about exams, I will usually just contain it to myself and I won't express that. But I've done that in the past and that really doesn't work when you lock it all up inside. So when I was FaceTiming home, I said, I was like, I'm feeling stressed, mum. And I feel that that helped because I could talk to mom about why I was feeling stressed and obviously she was just trying to tell me to calm down and everything will be fine and blah blah blah. All those things that your moms and dads do, go and express how you feel. If you're someone who likes hugging, hug someone. I'm personally not a very huggy person. Um, I would stroke an animal any day, yes, but just talk to people and tell them why you're feeling stressed. Also, for me, I know that I'm stressed because I get very clear physical signs that I'm stressed. I don't know, but somehow my body just goes, okay, this girl is stressed, we're gonna give her backache and we're gonna give her nosebleeds. That is exactly what happens to me when I'm stressed. Um, also in my lumbar spine, so in my lower back, I feel stressed and I feel tension all down in my lower back. And that is a, one of the first signs that I'm stressed. The second one, as I just said, is nosebleeds. I don't know why my body does this. It just gives me nosebleeds. Um, I'm not anemic or anything. They just kind of occur spontaneously and it seems to be to do with stress. They're the two main signs that I am definitely stressed in my body. Um, other than feeling mentally stressed, it gives me over physical symptoms. So if you guys have any of those, then in some ways it's quite good because it means that you can immediately recognize when you're stressed. Obviously, if you don't get any physical symptoms like nosebleeds, then that is a plus because you don't have to deal with a nosebleed or deal with like backache. Somehow, even though I'd done my mocks, I still felt stressed. That is why I didn't film anything and it's now Saturday. Because on the Sunday before my mocks, I looked at my exam timetable and I knew that it'd probably come out sooner, but I just hadn't looked yet. I don't know why. So I decided, very sensibly, not to look at my exam timetable on the day before my mocks and just stress me out even more. Because I looked at them and I realized that I start on the 25th of May and I was like, oh my gosh last year i started in june early june like 7th 8th or something so this year it's the 25th of may that is a lot earlier and that just freaked me out i shouldn't have looked at my exam table timetable before my mocks i think that just compounded the situation and made everything a thousand times worse now i'm feeling okay i'm feeling less stressed i suppose i want to try as best as i can just like last year to vlog my whole exam season as well just like it is a normal term because if i start eliminating so many things and doing so many things differently then it will feel different and i will feel uneasy another tip try to keep things as normal as possible you shouldn't sacrifice your friends or your family your social life your mental health your eating you shouldn't sacrifice any of that a piece of paper with a grade on it is worth what nothing uh your health your vitality and your energy is so much more important than that and you cannot jeopardize that so i need to keep reminding myself that every day and i hope that you guys do that too so just wake up every day remind yourself yes it's exam season but ultimately your health 
is so much more important. There is more to life than exams, people. <sighs> I'm so glad I've just talked to you guys about that and got that off my chest. I, I know that some of you out there can relate. Um, we're all feeling like this in exam term. I came back from lectures, obviously. I went to Sainsbury's and I've done some work. This is Outpro coconut soy yogurt, which is so good. Food gets me through days. I'm getting fresh air. But when it's raining and miserable, you just can't really walk in the rain. Let us now put in our scrunchie. When I bought this scrunchie, I felt so good. And it's just a scrunchie, it's just some cotton with elastic. But you know, it's the little things you need to appreciate, guys. In times like this, that does make me very happy. <laughs> Now this, my friends, is something that I get questions about quite a lot. This is one of my favorite things in the world right now. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. So we'll just drain it. It's a bit annoying because I lose some of the quinoa. Here we go. Yes. Well, steam. Yeah. So steamy. So this, as you can see more clearly now, it is a mixture of pearl barley, quinoa, and today I put split peas in it. Otherwise, I would put lentils in it, either green, green, red, or green lentils. But today I put split peas in because I brought this massive pack of split peas from home. I shove it in a pan all together, cook it for about, I don't know, simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes, I think. I sometimes add onion, but today I didn't add onion. And then it's just so simple. I just add some spices afterwards and it tastes so good. So I always add turmeric. I add turmeric to every meal, so this is not a surprise. And sometimes I just add some other spices. You can be a lot more adventurous than this. I mean, this is not very adventurous at all. And it turns it yellow, obviously, because I love turmeric. So it's a load of pulses, really great stuff in here. I love it. I can just eat out the pan, as you do. Just add it to my bowl of goodness in here. Mm. It's quite a dual workout because it's all kind of textury, very textury in fact, if that's even a word. This is the salatka, not kra, Polish stuff, but we get it in the UK, I just get it from but well, we get it at home from Asda and tahini, obviously, because when do I not have tahini? Give it a little mix and drizzle it all over. Whoa, this one's really liquidy. Ready, three, two, one, go. Whoa. Woo. Bring up the spoon. So this is what we have. This is my mixture, as I call it, you know, got some spinach, and veg, tahini, and salatka. 
Um, look at this. Okay, so this is broccoli. And you're probably like, ooh, flashy yellow broccoli. No, the broccoli was green to start with and it turned yellow in the fridge. I don't know why. It still tastes fine to me. I'm still alive. So I deemed that it was okay to eat yellow broccoli. So I thought I'd get this on camera as well because I put it on my Instagram the other day. I have my stuff on this bottom shelf and this is what I found the other day. It is so big and so funny. I found it hilarious when I saw this the other day. So I asked you guys to tell me what you thought it was because I have no clue what this thing was. Um, I got a range of responses. We had like a, somebody said it was a, a Turkish mango. Somebody said it was a giant parsnip. Somebody was like, oh, it looks like a turnip or something. We had a range of responses, but I think the answer, the correct answer is a radish, a daikon radish. I don't know how you say it, daikon, dacon, daikon, D-A-I-K-O-N. That's something new, a daikon radish. My lips are all shiny now from my cocoa butter palm oil. Oh, and I've got toothpaste on my mouth. Classic Holly. And there's my foot. It looks really red. It's really strange. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, give it a like if you did, as I said. And because it's been about stress, comment down below how you're feeling, how you cope with stress, what you do. And... Stay tuned on socials. If you're new around here as well, subscribe, all that jazz. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna sleep, let my brain rest. Because that is the final tip to deal with stress. Get enough sleep. I still have two faced on my mouth, on my face. Smile, remember, even if you've got plastic in your mouth. Bye. <laughs>